Well, here it is. The creator award for reaching 100,000 subscribers. The silver play button. Can't thank you enough for making this happen. I never thought I would see the day that I reached 100,000 subscribers. And uh, to be honest with you, I almost didn't. In December of last year, uh, what I thought was just a flu turned out to be a lot more. After about a week of being home and thinking I'd get over it, I, just, I had to wave the white flag and end up spending six days in the ICU. And, uh, you know, I mean, as scary as that was, like it was, I had thought I had done everything that I had to do to keep safe, right? Uh, but there I was, unable to have any visitors, wondering if, you know, this was kind of the last of it. And only a few months prior in September, we had buried my father for uh, very much the same thing. He had some um, underlying pre-existing conditions that, uh, you know, we didn't really know about. And, uh, I mean, it took him out pretty quick. So here I am thinking, you know, okay, maybe I have to get my own affairs in order. And it was a really scary time. And like I said, one of the worst things was like nobody was able to visit me at all. It was just me, the nurses, and my phone. And uh, really crappy daytime TV. That that's that's all that was there. So my wife was able to bring me stuff, and I asked her one day. I said, "Hey, can you just bring me my AirPods? This this oxygen they have on me, which goes over your ears, is so loud. I can't hear anything else. I just can't deal with it. You know, I can barely even hear the television. I'm just sitting there listening to this like white noise all day." So she brought my Air AirPods, and now I've considered myself a pretty grounded guy. You know, I'm not really into like supernatural or anything okay so she brought my airpods i put in the airpods finally got some relief and to this day i remember the first song i played and uh it was that day that the nurses told me that i turned a corner now i'm not saying that it's due to the uh the music or anything like that but i mean you know it, it's coincidental and it's pretty creepy uh and now i i can't even listen to that song without getting a little little weepy but I'm happy to say that now I'm back to my old self. Um, we crossed 100,000 subscribers at the end of January. This is like the big milestone for any creator, you know? And, and as I mentioned, it, it, it means absolutely nothing if it wasn't for you watching and, and interacting and giving me ideas for videos. And it's, it's this thing that I feel like we celebrate together because without you, it's me in a room talking to a camera, which is kind of bizarre if nobody's watching. You know, making YouTube videos went from something that I kind of did in secret, I didn't want anybody to know about it, to a hobby, to now where people are asking me when I'm going to go full time. And it's just, it's an amazing journey. And I remember the moment that it all started. It, I was actually in Mexico on my honeymoon, laying in a cabana, reading a book. I remember really dreading going back to real life. I was working for a pretty crummy contractor at the time. Uh, things weren't very good as far as work goes. And I remember just being like, you know, it, it's not right that I'm going to live the rest of my life to have a couple vacations a year, not like this, but a couple weeks a year that I could take off and weekends. And then I have to kind of like, you know, endure through through my my job. I, I, I don't think that's that's a life worth living. I want more than that. You know what I mean? So it was at that moment that I decided that I was going to start my own thing. I didn't know what it was at the time. I was going to start something that I could build on my own that would help people. That was something that I believed in and something that I enjoyed. And I really didn't know what it was at the time. But a few months later, there I was in a room, kind of nervously staring into a camera, wondering what I was going to say. Now, if any of you were watching back then, you know that I used to kind of focus more on traditional dapper uh, men's style. And it wasn't until I think the third video that I did actually was about dressing well at a blue collar job. And, and then it was it was kind of like solidified that I found my niche. And so since then, uh, it's evolved with your help to be what this channel is now. 275 videos later, we've reached 100,000 subscribers. And uh, I got this little plaque from YouTube. The plaque doesn't mean as much nearly as as you know, interacting with you guys and seeing the people who get value out of what I do. Because I remember very vividly sitting in my work van, looking at my phone, looking for a comparison of work 
pants. I was looking for some good work pants, and all I could find was ads. Could not find any, like, good information on work pants. If I did, it was from people who never worked in the field. They would just kind of, like, give you a rundown, and it would always be, like, the same stuff. Carhartt, Dickies, whatever. And I was like, yeah, I know those brands. Like, I want to know if there's anything out there that's better, especially better for what I do now. And that was what I wanted to create. And hopefully that's what we're creating here with this channel as a resource for people. But there's one more person who I have to thank who never appears on screen, and that's my wife. Now, since those early days in the cabana when I didn't know what I was going to do and I bought a camera and all this kind of stuff that seemed like maybe this guy's going through a midlife crisis, she's stuck with me. And, you know, six years later, she still is my number one fan. So what you don't see here is often when I'm recording she'll take the kids to go do some errands. So mostly it's so I don't feel bad that I'm not helping her with them. You know, we have a three and a five-year-old and they are a handful. So she's going to take them and she's going to go do some errands. She's going to take them for a ride. She's going to go wherever. It gives me a couple hours to sit up here and do this, talk to you, create these videos. It's not everybody would do that, you know? And so without her, it's safe to say that this channel wouldn't exist. So, you know, while this plaque may say my name on it, uh, I wish that it could have every single one of yours on it as well, because we did this together. And whether you're in your work van now looking for, you know, alternatives in, in the best work boots that are out there, or if you're just lazing around on a Sunday, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for being a part of this with me. Much more to come. I'm excited to, to evolve with you. And uh, we'll see where we are when we hit the next milestone. But for right now, let's just enjoy it and uh, let's get back to some real stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for this. Really appreciate it. Be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.